Hey guys, and welcome to the channel. I just wanted to get on and do a quick video because there have been some crazy stuff happening in the last 24 hours in the Pokemon world. Most notably, well, a couple things, but the, one of the biggest things being Logan Paul's live streaming a box break where he opened up a $200,000 first edition base set booster box. And that, if you guys have not watched that, I would actually recommend watching it because it's actually pretty cool. It, just because it's... Uh, in the Pokemon world, nothing like that has ever happened. Nothing so, at least nothing so notable by someone with uh, with uh, such a big audience. And so I highly recommend checking that out. Um, personally, I don't really know much about Logan Paul. I know some people like him, some people hate him. I know, they, I, at least I've heard he might have been involved in, I don't know, done some weird stuff. I don't really know. But either way, someone of that much influence doing a live uh, box break and it had over 300,000 people watching uh, watching it live. That was just crazy. And I know that video has over a million views now. And so just that much attention around Pokemon is crazy. Like from someone that isn't, from people who aren't, ne aren't necessarily in the community. And, you know, when I heard that Logan Paul was going to be doing this, that he got involved in Pokemon, you know, I was telling people, you know, that's cool that he's going to be, I know, I knew that he was going to be bringing uh, more awareness uh, to Pokemon and, you know, to Pokemon investing, collecting, all that good stuff. But I was telling people, you know what? That as cool as that is, it's going to be nothing. Like as, as as much attention as that might bring, that's going to be nothing compared to when, you know, we you have rappers and, you know, hip hop artists and athletes when they start flexing on their, in, on their Instagram, you know, that they just pulled a card or they just bought a PSA 10, you know, Charizard or whatever it might be. And what's so crazy is that last night, so around the same time that Logan was doing his uh, his live stream, um, a first edition PSA 10 Charizard sold for over two, well, for under over 200,000. It, it, I think the, the, the uh, the bid ended around one hundred eighty six thousand, but with like fees and everything, it was two hundred. It was over two hundred twenty thousand, and it turns out, speaking of rappers, that the person who bought that was none other than former rapper Logic. And oh my gosh, I found that out. I'm like, oh my freaking heck, that like game over, game over, guys. The fact that I that I and I mean I call him former rapper because you know he retired from rap, but I'm just going to call him rapper. Someone with that much clout is into Pokemon and showing it on his social media, like that's just crazy. Like it, it's things are about to get real. Like if you think that the prices on these like first edition cards are crazy, guys, it's just the beginning. Logic is into Pokemon. Just wait until you start hearing about. Like I I kid you not. It's not going to surprise me at all if then within the next three to five years to see someone like LeBron James or Drake or Jay-Z shooting a picture on their Instagram saying, look what I just bought. And it's like a first edition uh, PSA 10 Charizard or, you know, some kind of rare card like that. That is not going to surprise me at all. In fact, I'm telling you right now it is going to happen. Three to five years, maybe a little longer, but in the in the relative relatively uh, near future, it's going to happen. And so, guys, those are some big things. What do you think about all this? Uh, do you think it, it's helpful to the community? Do you think it's hurtful? I personally think it's helpful because just the, it just makes the uh, makes the community that much bigger. And honestly, like it might make the prices uh, that much higher for like these first edition PSA ten stuff, but. I, I just think I think it's yeah, overall it's a good thing. And one last thing, one last announcement. So, as you guys have noticed, I've been putting a lot of Pokemon content on my channel. And so, with that in mind, because I've just been so focused on Pokemon, it's been so much fun. Uh, I decided to actually rebrand my podcast. Right now, it's currently Perspective with Ulysses Balansatagi. I'm rebranding it to Perspective and Pokemon. The two things that I'm probably most passionate about outside of my faith and my family is perspective and Pokemon. So I'm going to keep bringing on guests to share um, story, you know, their stories about their journey, sharing their perspective on, you know, life, business, happiness, 
uh, finances, money, all that good stuff. But we're also going to add a, another part to it where we're also going to bring on guests where we'll talk about their journey and, th- and their perspective and things. But we're going to be talking Pokemon. We're going to be talking about uh, nerd stuff. We're going to be talking about uh, you know, investing, collecting. And you know, we might also delve into other stuff that I, I enjoy and that other people might enjoy, like Marvel uh, and things like that. But it's going to revolve, revolve mostly around Pokemon. So perspective in Pokemon, that's going to be the new podcast. It's going to be a lot of fun. Got some really, really cool guests lined up. I think you guys are really, really going to enjoy it. But that's it. I said I want to do a short video. So love you guys. Have a fantastic day. Take care.